This is News for Nashville. This is the kind of thing that a public agency would really like to not have end up in the newspaper. Tonight, top officials in the Metro Public Health Department are facing criticism by former employees. These employees say the department's HR manager was concerned about the public finding out about racist and sexist behavior. Our chief investigative reporter Jeremy Finley has been exposing here what exactly happened, Jeremy. Tracy, first you should know that the Metro Public Health Department oversees Metro Animal Control and Care, the city's animal shelter. Also a warning tonight. The details in this case are graphic and may be offensive. I don't know why I'm getting so emotional. When this former animal shelter employee went to Metro Health HR. I never told anybody this. With complaints that a supervisor at Metro Animal Care and Control made racist and sexual comments, the HR manager, who did not realize he was being recorded, responded with a caution. This is the kind of thing that a public agency would really like to not have end up in the newspaper. People's careers are at stake. It's a sentiment she says HR manager Les Bowen made not only to her, but to shelter employee Jessica Hoffman, who also complained about the supervisor's behavior. Listen. This is why I came to you guys, because of this behavior. It all started after this 2020 lawsuit from a shelter patron who claims she was suffering wounds to her hands and breast after being attacked by a dog. The shelter employee who asked us to conceal her identity because she's a harassment victim complained to HR that kennel supervisor J.D. White later described the woman's injuries like this. It was this black woman. He was like, you know, those dark colored nipples. And he's like, you know, that's not something I like. And then he was like, you don't have dark colored nipples, do you? And I was so uncomfortable with the question. White disputes saying that, and an HR investigation found it was an undetermined complaint because it was a he said, she said situation. But they did find that in another incident, White admitted to making inappropriate racial comments in the work environment and confirmed that White asked another inappropriate question. Have you ever heard him ask an employee if, if they were having their period? He has asked me that. Jessica Hoffman says she heard it too. I thought it was ridiculous and I was appalled. White ultimately waived a hearing on the complaints and took a three-day suspension without pay. But he's still on the job. The two employees who exposed it resigned. How do you feel about the fact that he's still there, but you're gone? Um, I don't think he should be there. Uh, I think his behavior over the years has proven that he's not capable of being in that type of position. Hoffman says she resigned not only because White kept his job, but that health department management knew about the complaints at the shelter and ignored it until she sent this email to Metro HR reading, Mac is imploding. It completely like did not do anything and just swept it under the rug. In the recording, Bowron advises mediation between the employees and White the employees say that would have kept all their complaints out of the public record. And he says this about the handling of their complaints. It wasn't good enough. I didn't do a good enough job. I failed. Because what happens if that stuff ends up in the newspaper is you get council people calling for everybody's hide, including the HR guy. Where were you, man? What were you doing? Didn't you hear any of this rumbling? When you listen to these recordings, it sounds like you're advising them not to go public. We reached Bowen by phone and offered to share with him everything he's recorded saying, but he declined. White also declined our request for an interview. Dr. Gil Wright, the director of health, agreed to speak with WSMV4 investigates, but then backed out 24 hours ago, sending a statement reading in part, Metro Public Health Department takes any claim of discrimination or misconduct extremely seriously. We cannot comment further pending the outcome of legal proceedings. Those legal proceedings are because Hoffman considered filing an EEOC complaint, but she tells us she is no longer doing that because she's moved on. We also wanted to say that the first employee did allow us to use her voice so you could understand the grief she says she went through. As for Les Bowen, he resigned on July 1st. More to come on this as we uncover it. Tracy. Jeremy Finley tonight. Thank you very much.